Good morning, WLA family, and welcome to Wednesday's Bible reading. May grace, peace, and every blessing be yours through God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as we continue our reading in the Old Testament book of Zechariah, chapter 8. Zechariah was a prophet of God, and as such, he proclaimed God's word to his Old Testament people. The remaining remnant of Jews had returned from 70 years of exile in Babylon, and the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem was a slow, painstaking process. But now in chapter 8, God, through Zechariah, provides the people with the hope and forgiveness that only his love could provide. Ten times in this chapter, the words, This is what the Lord Almighty says, are repeated. God had been hard on his people in the past, but now, through Zechariah, the Lord Almighty repeatedly promises that he will show his people mercy and provide them with every blessing. And just as God showed love and mercy to the remnant of people from Judah, so he promises grace and mercy to his believers today also. In this world of hate and persecution and disease and turmoil, God promises to be faithful and righteous to us. He promises that we too will be saved by grace without any merit or worthiness on our part. He promises forgiveness of sins and eternal life. And why? Well, as we have just celebrated Easter, we know why. Jesus died to save us from our sins and rose to assure us that we will rise to heaven also. May our reading this morning remind us once again of God's great love for us. We read selected verses from Zechariah chapter 8. The word of the Lord Almighty came to me. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I am very zealous for Zion. I am burning with jealousy for her. This is what the Lord says. I will return to Zion and dwell in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord Almighty will be called the holy mountain. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Once again, men and women of ripe old age will sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each of them with cane in hand because of their age. The city streets will be filled with boys and girls playing there. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will save my people from the countries of the east and the west. I will bring them back to live in Jerusalem. They will be my people, and I will be faithful and righteous to them as their God. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Now hear these words. Let your hands be strong so that the temple may be built. This is also what the prophets said who were present when the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord Almighty. Before that time, there were no wages for people or hire for animals. No one could go about their business safely because of their enemies, since I had turned everyone against their neighbor. But now I will not deal with the remnant of this people as I did in the past, declares the Lord Almighty. The seed will grow well, the vine will yield its fruit, the ground will produce its crops, and the heavens will drop their dew. I will give all these things as an inheritance to the remnant of this people. Just as you, Judah and Israel, have been a curse among the nations, so I will save you, and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Just as I had determined to bring disaster on you and showed no pity when your ancestors angered me, says the Lord Almighty, so now I have determined to do good again to Jerusalem and Judah. Do not be afraid. Here ends our reading. God's blessings on your day.